This guide shows you how to install a program from a CD in Windows. Normally, when you insert a CD into Windows, it will automatically run and start installing the program for you. Sometimes this doesn't always happen. If this is the case and you've inserted the CD into your computer and it hasn't automatically started the installation, then remove the CD now before following this guide. The next thing you need to do is hold down the Windows key. The Windows key is usually between the CTRL key and the ALT key on the bottom row of the keyboard. Hold this key down and then tap the E key on the keyboard. Then let go of the Windows key. You should now see Windows Explorer. Under Devices and Drivers, you'll notice you'll see your DVD or CD drive. Now, the next thing to do is to insert the CD or DVD. When you insert the CD or DVD, you may see a box appear in the top right hand corner of the screen if you're using Windows 8 or Windows 8.1. If, however, you're using Windows XP, Windows Vista or Windows 7, you'll notice an autoplay box appear in the middle of the screen. If this box appears, just click on the cross in the top right hand corner of the, uh, the autoplay box to get rid of it. With Windows 8, the box that appears in the top right hand corner of the screen will automatically disappear after a few seconds. You will notice that the DVD drive icon will change soon after putting the CD in. This may take 20 to 30 seconds for it to change, so please be patient. When it has changed, it will often come up, not always, but often it will come up with the name of the program that you're trying to install. I'm trying to install Microsoft Works, so as you can see, it's come up here, DVD drive D, MS Works. The next thing we need to do is to move our mouse over the DVD drive and click the right mouse button. That's the right mouse button. This will bring up a menu. Now, next thing we need to do is left click. That's the left mouse button open. And you'll see now a list of files that's on the DVD. Now what we're looking for is a file called either install or setup. Now it'll probably have one or the other of these files on there. When we've found it, in this case we've got a file called setup. Move your mouse over the file named setup or install if there's an install in your case and double left click quickly the word setup. If you're using Windows Vista, Windows 7, or Windows 8, or Windows 8.1, you'll see this user account control box appear in some cases. If it does, check to make sure that the program name matches the program that you're installing, and the verified publisher is from the manufacturer of that program. In my case, I'm installing Microsoft Works 9, so the program name is Works, which is correct, and the verified publisher is Microsoft Corporation, so it looks looks okay. It also tells me that the file origin is from the CD or the DVD drive. So I'm happy with that, so I just left click once on yes. And now the software will start to install. All we do now is just follow the installation wizard and instructions on the screen. And that's it. Once it's finished installing, the software may ask you to restart your computer. Not in every case, but in some cases. If it does, restart your computer straight after installing the software. If not, then just eject your disk straight away.